A new PvPvE game is making its way to the Steam Store. Sand is the name and you will play as a survivor on a fallen planet called Sophie. You will build a gigantic machine called a Trampler because they trample you and explore the environment which are filled with mystical anomalies, monuments, and other players. This world was also once ruled by the Astro-Hungarian Empire set in 1910, so that's pretty cool too. Now there is a lot I like about how this game sounds. It says that you can not only build but design your own trampler. And I wasn't sure if there was a strict progression model that a player would need to follow, but if we were able to design as well, then that is what I would want. But apparently you can design the interior, the power the armor, and the weapons, so there is quite a bit you can do to make it unique. It does mention that in order to create the quote, ultimate movable base, end quote, you should team up with other players and pool your resources, which does make sense, but I do worry that solo players may be at a distinct disadvantage for having less resources. A new post put on their Steam yesterday ends with, quote, Sand introduces an innovative twist to survival in harsh environments with tramplers, end quote. But to be honest, I don't think they did. It's not really that innovative. This game reminds me a lot of Last Oasis. You remember Last Oasis, right? It came out in 2020 and is currently on sale for $30 USD and is sitting at mostly negative recent reviews and mixed all reviews. And that game made a huge splash. It's not like a few hundred reviews. We're talking nearly 20,000 reviews. Now, if they really want to be innovative, don't flop like Last Oasis and make the idea of a walker or trampler a successful one. But what is similar between these two games? Well, like I just mentioned, the walker, they didn't have tramplers in Last Oasis. They had walkers. And with these, you could customize the walkers in similar ways as the tramplers. You can use them for combat, you could customize them, you could use them for storage, and you use them to traverse the dangerous environment. And also, they are always quite creative with the way they name machines that have legs. Always so literal. Trampler, walker, runner, I don't know, croucher. I don't know. <laughs> The other thing that makes these two games similar is you can either go solo or multiplayer, which I know is not very unique, but why I bring that up is because the main reason why Last Oasis peaked at 33,000 players and currently sits at 112 playing as I write this script is because the multiplayer overpowered the solos. The solos get zerged, they couldn't compete, and now the only ones left to play are the few powerful clans that pushed everyone else off. So it is critical that they balance that function or they risk the same demise. Either way, they are taking signups for an upcoming closed alpha, so if you guys are interested in giving it a try like I am, navigate to their Steam page and sign up. I hope they succeed in delivering a quality game and not fall prey to their own designs like Donkey Crew, the developer and publisher of Last Oasis. But what do you guys think of this game? Will you give it a try? Do you like the idea of tramplers or walkers? Do you think that's innovative? Do you think it can work? Let me know and subscribe for more survival content. Happy survival, path out.